I think the Arkless from Mech Life is easily one of the most underrated mech mods of all time. <clears throat> all right, so what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again today. We're gonna be taking a look at the Arkless from Mech Life. This is an Ambitions Vapor project, I believe. So what I'm gonna do is put some timestamps down in the description. I'll have some chapters on this video, but we're gonna spend a little bit of time here today with this Arkless. We're gonna do a little bit of hot up closey action, then we'll come back up here for some pros and cons and some final thoughts. Hot up close action. Ready for it? <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. We're gonna do a real quick, short, uppy closey time here. Mech Life Arkless V2 Copper Titanium OG Recoil. Get this off of here. There's your threaded hybrid 510 connection. All the threads on this, real nice. That is a Delrin sleeve on the inside for added safety, which I love. And apart from this sort of knurled look, which I really like, they do have a bunch of resin sleeves available for it, if you like that resin look. I don't. And this is just held on by O-rings. And you're gonna see your serial number underneath. And that's it, this top cap does not come off. So let's put this back on. Pew. Taking a look at that switch, there's no locking feature on it. It is a constant contact. That's a silver plated copper contact. And if you unscrew this Delrin piece, there's your spring, there's your contact, there's your plunger contact right there that's gonna come up and hit your other contact. It's the arcless, so no back arcing on your battery, but that's what all constant contact mods are for. This contact does just thread out. There's your switch, there's your second spring, there's sort of your switch housing. It's real simple, but it works honestly really great. Let's get this back together. If you snug this down all the way, your switch will sit flush. There's little notches here in the Delrin so you can use tweezers to sort of screw this down all the way. Just like that, that hits your battery, that hits your contact, boosh, that's the button. All the machining's real nice, haven't had a battery that doesn't fit in here yet. Boosh, boosh, yeah, boosh. Before we get back out to normal view, it does come with a little accessories pack. You get an 18650 adapter, you get a spare contact and two spare springs, as well as a spare Delrin piece that your constant contact switch kind of sits in. So that's good, nice extras to have. So that's really all there is to see up here. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape it. Uh, it's just a hard hitting mech. So pros and cons, pros first. It's just a hard hitting mech. These are 0.17 ohm dual aliens on here and it feels perfect on a single Galisi 21700. You get some nice warmthness out of it. A pro for me is gonna be the overall construction and fit and finish of this mech mod. All the threads are beautifully smooth. Everything fits together real well. The switch, if you need to take it apart to clean it, is real easy to take apart to clean. When you have an RDA on, your battery just kind of floats down in there. Another pro for me is gonna be this real nice textured, but soft and squishy button. What I like about this button is you don't have to hit it dead center to get it to fire. It's so well machined that even if you're hitting it just on the edge here, it'll travel the distance evenly and fire. Another pro for me, honestly, is just the way it feels in the hand. I really like this textured, nubbiny sort of sleeve on here. Feels real nice. I like the top is 24, about 24 and a half millimeters pedestal that it kind of sits on. It only gets to about 27 millimeters total in girth, so it's not like holding a giant baton. Now, as far as cons go, I legitimately can't think of any. This mech mod is perfectly suited to the way that I vape, and there's just not a one thing I would change on it. In fact, between the original Arkless and this Arkless V2, these have become just some of my favorite mech mods of all time. And I know there's a lot of stiff competition, no pun intended, in the mech mod world. You know, you've got Deathwish and you got Stan and you got Unicorn and you got Kennedy and you got Purge and you got Rogue. And they all have really loyal followings. And rightfully so, they make nice mech mods. But this Arc Life from Mechless is a really underrated, really, really nice mech.
The only reason I might choose like a Kennedy over this Arclis is because the newer Kennedys, even though they use a 21700, they're a little bit more slender than this. But that's it. I mean, that's really all. The, I, the rest, I love these things. I love these Arclis mods. Now, since I'm bringing back the banana sticker rating system, what am I going to give this as far as banana stickers go? Shit. This might get all five. I just... Look, I just really like these Arclis mechs. You know, they're not crazy innovative, but they're reliable and they work really well. So vape budget hands, are you going to need your vape budget hands if you want to check out the Arclis from Mech Life? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. It's not crazy priced, but it does clock in right at around 80 bucks. I feel like that's not, I don't know, completely unreasonable for this nice of a mech mod. If we were going to play the Aliens game though, and the Aliens came and took everything I had and I have nothing left to vape is the Mech Life Arclis V2, something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away. Oh man, I have a huge collection of mechs, a huge collection of mechs. But I think where I'm landing on this is, yes, I, I would buy this. I need to own this mech, I like it that much. Which even thinking about, like that's kind of crazy. Now that's if we're talking about tubular mech mods. I always have to give a shout out to Mike Vapes and his clutch mech mod. Cause if I was to buy just one and I could only buy one 21700 mech mod, yeah, it would probably be the clutch. Anyway, that is far more rambling than you needed to hear. So I'll go ahead and wrap this up. Links are not allowed in the description, so you're going to have to use that Google Foo. But seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is at least 95% less harmful than burning deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, you guys, no matter what's in your hand, let's keep on vaping.